Welcome to our online Lent devotions at St. Mark's United Methodist Church. I'm Helen Adams. I'm the pastor of St. Mark's. And throughout Lent, our members and staff at St. Mark's will be sharing uh, some reflections on scripture, songs, hymns, art, to help lead us through the season of Lent. Today is Ash Wednesday. It is the start of Lent, and it's a day when many Christians mark ourselves with a cross of ashes to symbolize repentance and humility before God as we begin these 40 days when we follow Jesus on his journey to the cross and then beyond that to the empty tomb on Easter Sunday. At St. Mark's, we will be um, observing Ash Wednesday with three options for imposition of ashes. We will be doing a drive-through imposition of ashes and optional communion today uh, from 1 to 2 p.m. and 6 to 7 p.m. at the rear of the church off Apple Tree Alley. And then we will also be uh, on Main Street in front of the church from 3 to 4 p.m. if you would like to receive ashes as you're just coming down the street. So on Ash Wednesday, one of the traditional readings uh, from Scripture is from the Old Testament, the prophet Joel, uh, chapter 2, and it's verses 1 and 2, and then we're going to drop down to verse 12. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm on my holy hill. Let all who live in the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. It is close at hand, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and blackness. Even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love, and he relents from sending calamity. Who knows? He may turn and relent and leave behind a blessing, grain offerings and drink offerings for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, declare a holy fast, call a sacred assembly, gather the people, consecrate the assembly, bring together the elders, gather the children, those nursing at the breast. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her chamber. Let the priests who minister before the Lord weep before the portico and the altar. Let them say, Spare your people, Lord. Do not make your inheritance an object of scorn, a byword among the nations. Why should they say among the peoples, Where is their God? The prophet reminds us that we have turned away from the Lord and wandered down wrong paths. And we need to turn around. Return in verse 12 in Hebrew is a word that literally means turn around. If we are driving along uh, and we're using our GPS to get where we need to go and we happen to make a wrong turn or we're going in the wrong direction, your voice assistant is going to prompt you to turn around at the first opportunity. And that's what Ash Wednesday is. That's what the whole season of Lent is. It is a season of course corrections. It is an opportunity for us to examine the direction we're heading and take a good look inside ourselves. Are we going the right way? Are we moving toward God or are we moving away? And if we're not going in the right direction, we need to turn around and head back toward God. Ash Wednesday begins this. It's a day when we mark ourselves with those ashes, whether on the forehead or on our hand, we say, I've been going down the wrong path and I need to turn around. It's a commitment. And the good, there, but there's good news because even if we've been heading in a completely wrong direction, there is always, always, always another chance with God. And I'm going to give you a preview of coming attractions. It's a little bit of a Spoiler alert here. We're going to drop down to verse 28 in Joel chapter 2. And afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. 
Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. I will show wonders in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the great the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, and everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. In Acts chapter 2 on the day of Pentecost, after the Holy Spirit has been poured out on Jesus' disciples in the upper room, the Apostle Peter quotes this passage from the prophet Joel to explain what's just happened. God has poured out the Holy Spirit. And when we repent, when we turn around, when we head back to God, God responds with an outpouring, a fresh outpouring of his Holy Spirit. So we just need to remember to take a good look at the direction we're going and see if we may need to make a U-turn and head back to God. So let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of repentance, for always offering us the chance to turn around. As we mark ourselves with ashes today, let these ashes be for us a fresh commitment to follow Jesus, not only during these 40 days of Lent, as we remember his journey to the cross, but every day of our lives. Help us to observe a holy Lent. We pray this in your name. Amen.